We are back here on Girl Talk, and our Rachel W., <laughs> as she's affectionately known now, is back. RW, talking to, yes. Yeah, Andrea's still here with us, too. <laughs> We have some, you've got some cool things you're involved in right now. Yes, ma'am. I knew her when she was very young and before really, Sophie. She's she's famous. She walked in, Mike knew her, Andrew knew her. <laughs> you know, I was like, wow. She, I she's like a that. legend in her I'm own so mind. I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> that was great to meet you, Shane. And Sophie's <laughs> so cute. Thank you. All right, oh. but what are you involved in? I'm the treasurer of the Miss Hilton Head Island Scholarship Pageant, and that's a pageant that's open to South Carolina young women mm -hmm. um, from the ages of 13 to 24, and it's a preliminary to the Miss America pageant. Isn't and St. Andrew's like, great, really, mm. I'm a 15 year old. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's <laughs> a great way she for, could pass. Yeah. Yeah, well, true. It's a great way right. for um, scholarship money for young women. Um, our winner, we're actually giving a thousand dollar scholarship courtesy of the Going Law Firm. Um, great. So great. that's amazing because that's, I believe, the second highest scholarship in the program in the state. So um, we're hoping to bring a lot of very talented young women here and hopefully draw a lot of Hilton Head girls or Bluffton Beaufort girls to compete as well. What makes this pageant a bit different than other pageants? Because we were talking last week, right. Miss Universe was on and blah, blah, blah. We were yakking about that. But Miss America pageant is really about scholarship and... It is. It's about scholarship. There's a talent portion, an interview portion. Um, for the Miss, there is a swimsuit okay. part and evening gown. Mm -hmm. Teens, they compete in a fitness, so they wear, you know, Sophie shorts and a tank top. Um, what kind of shorts? The, you know, cheerleading shorts. Oh, yeah. Sophie shorts. <laughs> Did you um, know that word? No. Okay, you'll know. You'll let <laughs> you know. That? Yes, I, I do. I did not know that word. <laughs> Very cute. Um, and they wear sneakers and whatnot. But it's a great way uh, for girls to earn scholarships, to learn about public speaking, to gain poise and confidence. How did you get into that? Um, I actually competed in the Miss USA system when I was a teenager That's awesome. and a, That's so a young great. lady. And did your did your parents push you into that, or did you have friends that did it, or did no, you just actually, want to do No, actually, my mom, it? when I was a child, I did do the children's pageants. They were much different back then. But um, <laughs> my mom not like toddlers me, and tiaras. Yeah. Definitely not like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the vision that yeah. I have. I know. Like, it's a I misconception. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was much different back then. But um, my mom actually saw an ad in the paper and asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said yes. And I happened to win my first one, so I was oh, pumped. That's great. Um, but I went on to compete in the Miss South Carolina USA system, um, where they don't have a talent portion. Okay. And that's what's really great about the Miss America um, organization is they do have a talent portion, which can highlight um, a very well-rounded young lady. How did kids great. get into that? Like, how would Whitaker get into that, or Liliana at age? Nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a short version? Yeah. Well, we have a website, www.misshiltonheadisland.org, and you can go there, and it has all the information about all the phases of competition, who our sponsors are, mm -hmm. what the prize package involves. We're giving away a $150 scholarship, courtesy of the Law Office of Jane Mullinax, for the talent portion. Also, um, CrossFit Hilton Head is sponsoring the swimsuit portion, which is a hundred dollar scholarship. Duh! Well. Great. Um, <laughs> and there's also, you know, just a People's Choice Award, which is voted on by the audience, and that's a hundred dollars cash. And it's a V at the VPAC. At right? the VPAC on January 26th. Cool. Um, so you're looking for uh, contestants at this point. Contestants, like audience members. Um, if there's any sponsors out there that are still interested in sponsoring the pageant, we have multiple different opportunities for them. And last year was the first yeah. time it came back yes. after a long time, right? Do, it yes. was. Didn't it had we been have gone. the folks on and who I think Harry and Jerry. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They awesome. came last year. That was great. Megan so on. Yeah, Megan was, came on. Right. She was the oh, one that great. won. She's and a lovely girl. She's amazing. Um, she is. That's the other great thing about the Miss America organization. She has a platform that's very important to her, mm -hmm. um, which is helmet safety awareness. Mm -hmm. And she's been able to go all over the state and promote that and promote, you know, Great protecting your brain during riding, um, whether it be a motorcycle mm -hmm. or a bicycle, any type of, you know, automobile. So oh, I think it's that's kind of cool. And the turnout last year was, was like amazing. I said, for the first good. We had people right. from great. all over the United States, Kentucky, Louisiana, you know, how North many, Carolina. How many that's contestants great. can you have? We can have as many as want to do it. Um, last year we had 18, okay. so that was great just for our first year back. And this year we're hoping to make it even bigger. How does that work if like Whitaker wants to do it or one of our kids want to do it? Do they mm -hmm. come up, do they have to have their own, pro help me girls, like be able to produce their own talent segments or do you... Are there they, a lot of rehearsals, I guess? There is a rehearsal okay. before the pageant. There's I guess that's what I'm asking. How do they know? Mm -hmm. and, um, 
basically there's a time allotted. You can find the information in the paperwork for how much time is allotted for the talent portion. We've had girls that get up there and recite poetry. There's okay. girls that dance, lyrical dance, singing, piano. We have piano. You could do your Anything girls. Goes invitation. That was pretty but, strong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Maybe not. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there's all types of talent. Uh, Miss uh, Hilton Head this year, she danced, and our Miss Hilton Head Island team, she was a singer. So, oh, she was. A, oh, mm -hmm. that's so cool. And You're then they the just there was an application. There's an application that, that you fill, fill out. out. Right um, there's going to be an interview evening gown, either physical fitness or swimsuit competition. Who are your judges? Um, <clears throat> our, Ladies. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm not allowed to say their names or anything like oh. that, but we actually hmm. have, um, I'd like to say, the best panel of judges for the right. South Carolina area because we pull our judges all from out of the area. They're not allowed to live here. Oh. So it's a very oh, unfair, unbiased, 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 unbiased fair oh. panel of judges. and Because we're all about esteem. bias. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> If she weren't juggling two shows. Exactly. Oh, yeah. she's a busy, busy girl, she's but busy she'd girl. be great. Exactly. Her, and on that note. Yeah, Laura's and town. Right. And Aww. on that note, let's bring the focus back. This is like having Lori, isn't it? Let's bring the focus back to where it belongs. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break and give Andrea equal time. Equal air time. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Girl Talk is brought to you by J Banks Design, The Greenery, Stoneworks, and custom audio video and by Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these businesses who make our program possible.